Yeah. You know, it, it, the other thing, too, is that how would you, let's just say things are going to shit really quickly. Right, right. There's a nuclear power plant that's going to blow up any second now. Any second. Right? How would you, are, are you like a, I know you're an outdoorsy guy, you hunt, you kill, harvest, as they say, harvest. sorry. How long do you think you could survive if things went to shit really quickly? If you had to survive, you have all the money you want, right? Mm -hmm. But like, how long do you think you could survive in the wilderness? It would be very hard. It's not easy. And not only that, you got to get through the winter. So you're going to have to build some sort of a shelter. But you're going to have no to maintain there a, there's fire. No, there's no winter here, though, is there? I mean, um, what's the cold to get here? in L.A., mm -hmm. but in Big Bear, which is only a couple hours north of here. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of places where you could drive. In a couple hours, you could go to Big Bear, and then you can go down to the beach. You could experience the desert. Yeah. You could experience a lot of different climates. It would really depend upon where you were stuck and what what you would eat. So the thing is, if you want to stay in the L.A. area, you're dead because you're not going to be able to eat shit. There's nothing here. Would you stay in your house? Would you migrate? Give your kids and a yeah, life. Yeah, you got to get out of here. So you'd leave. You'd drive your Tesla. Right. What, which car would you no take? No way. What? No way. It was a big debate that I had. If in, the, in a crisis situation, right, uh -huh. would you take the Tesla? No. Or would you take, what would you take? I have a Toyota Land Cruiser with a 40-gallon gas tank. Oh. Yeah. I got an apocalypse mobile. But so now I went through a big debate. <laughs> I, got, I got shit on so much for this. I said the same exact thing. I said, like, listen, in an oh shit situation, I would leave the Tesla behind. Let Who the f argued with you about that? A lot of people. Uh, I would leave it behind. I'd take my pickup truck. Yeah, like Tacoma. That's what I you fill do. It with gas. 100%, and I just drive. And like, well, you know, in an emergency crisis situation, uh, you don't have access to the gas. What if the gasoline didn't work? You remember go we, to the liquor store. You <laughs> fill it up with alcohol. <laughs> we'll we'll run. Run. Remember we had the hurricane in Florida a while yes. back? Now, everyone was saying, like, yeah, the, the gas pumps wouldn't work because the electricity was shut off. And mm -hmm. then, uh, but the supercharger still worked, and you could get to your destination still. And, like, Tesla's use less energy. It's like, at the end of the day, I happen to pick up a truck with, like, two shotguns. And, yeah. like, five things of gasoline and be fine. I don't understand that. Yeah, they also make tanks that you can put in your gas tank, uh, in your uh, the bed of your truck, rather, yeah. that right. are, like, these survival tanks. You can drive as far as you want, like mm -hmm. 800 miles. Yeah, and they more. And they, they you drive thousands of miles. There's a guy who actually, there was a podcast that I was listening to, um, this guy who is like an extreme prepper. And yeah. he actually made a trip with one tank of gas yeah. from Arizona to Canada. Damn. He drove all the way up to Canada, all the way across with one tank of gas because this massive tank yeah. in the back of his pickup truck right. that feeds directly into his primary tank. gas tank. Yeah. Yeah, and you can get these. They're like these survival tanks. And, you know, they'll host like hundreds of gallons But you're also of a target. Fuel. I'd probably, oh, yeah. shoot, I'd probably shoot at the guy's car. That's the other thing, too. Why would you do that? So, I don't know. All of a sudden, you're lawless. Be, yeah, see what happens? Yeah. A barbarian. I know. <laughs> the lights go off for five minutes. want to kill everyone. You're starting fires <laughs> and shooting cars. Yeah. So, so then, all right. So you leave. You take your family, right? Mm -hmm. There's, you have your kids. You have your wife. Where, where are you going to go? You, you hop in your Land Cruiser. Where are you going to go? You have a real problem. And, and what are you going to bring? You, well, you would have to bring things to start a fire and things to kill animals. Right. Those are the things that it would be very important. Okay. I, would, I would bring... Guns. Right. I'd bring bows. I'd bring ammunition mm -hmm. and arrows. But I would realistically realize that first of all, I'm not going to make more bullets, and I'm not going to make more arrows. Right. What am I going to do, and how long right. am I going to last? Did you bring marijuana? No. Okay. No. No. I'd be just trying to stay alive. Yeah. But you'd also be trying to stay alive for a long period of time. Right. You might want to bring it. No. Ease the pain. No, really? No. What? No. It's not going to. That. I mean, marijuana for pain relief. I mean, I guess it works. Yeah. But. That's not what I use it for. Pain at night of the impending doom. You're just, yeah. yeah, you'd be freaking out even more. I'm freaking out plenty. Yeah, I, yeah. I, and I, maybe I, I, I mean, I, I just there's no there's not room. I would bring water for water purification tablets. Right. No food I would bring though. Filters. Canned food. I would bring food. I'd probably bring food in the form of uh, heavy duty bars like that take don't take up a lot of space but right. are dense. And nutrient rich, like uh, there's those green belly bars. Protein bars. Yeah, something that has a lot of calories, high yeah. calories, in a small um, package, a small um, size. All right. Where are you heading? Yeah, exactly. Go where are you going? Woods. Yeah, you got to go somewhere where there's animals. And even then, you're not going to make it, and your kids are probably not going to make it. Oh, that, that's the, the real thing. Is it's yeah. true. You, the idea that you're going to live off of animals, this isn't the Serengeti, man. There's, right. not, there's not a lot of animals. So, Unless you're somewhere where you can find a lot of fucking animals. Right, like rabbits and shit. Yeah, and right? you got to keep them, like, you're going to have to kill them every other day because right. they're not going to last with the heat. And your kids aren't going to eat a dead rabbit for sure. Right. Not, not at they'll first, eat at a least. dead rabbit. Really? Yeah, they'll eat a rabbit. Yeah, my, my kids will eat pretty much anything. Do you know how to start a fire? 
Yes. Really? Yeah, but it's not you know, easy. No, it's not. If you have a string and a bow and two pieces of dried wood and, you know, hardwood and a softer wood, you can do it. No. You can do it. But it ain't easy. Like starting a bow with one of those. Yeah, no. Starting a fire with it one of those It takes two things. months. And that takes a little while. Really? But it's not easy. You're better off with a flint. If you have a flint and a piece of metal, you can start a fire pretty easy. Spark, yeah. And also you want to bring with you some tinder. You want to, um, if you have some dry tinder, you should bring yeah. that with you too. Sorry, Look, you're in for a world of hate. Yeah, no, man. A world of shit. If you want to really survive. Right. Those, whenever I watch those survival shows, which those I people, love, by the way, that I'm great. really into that shit. They're exciting, right? Yeah, I'm 